Hello and welcome back and that is right it's time for another noise test and today we are looking at this this is the brand new Synology RS422 Plus now I say brand new when I'm recording this now it's been around for about ooh, five or six weeks I think at this point so whenever you're watching this this is still a 2022 sort of early 2023 generation rack mount solution but with a difference unlike a lot of rack mount solutions that I talked about in the past that are predominantly very very noisy because because they're very nature. Rack mount systems being more industrial and a rack cabinet with more bays tend to make a lot more noise. This one is actually a lot quieter than a lot of rack mount solution. It's only half depth, it's only four bays, and it does a very, very interesting job of internal cooling measures with three rear fans, uh, with one based on the P internal PSU and two dotted around the sides, and the system taking advantage of a lovely passive ventilation system there at the top. I covered this a lot more in my hardware review, but in today's video, what we're going to be looking at is this system with three different kinds of hard drive. We're going to be looking at it with traditional uh, NAS based hard drives from WD. This is the WD Red series, WD Red Plus, I should say, 4TB. But we're then going to be looking at an enterprise class rack mount drive, quite common, the Ultra Star series here from WD in 10TB. And finally, we're going to be looking at this Synology's own hard drive there, the HAT 5300 AT, uh, 16TB drive. Now, the reason we're looking at these three drives is most rack mount solutions are deployed with hard drives in line with data center utilization. Now, a number of you may be keen to highlight that in my other noise tests, I have tend to factor in SSDs. A lot of the time it's the Kingston or some of those Seagate SSDs. Now, the reason I'm not using them in this is because, again, let me save you the trouble this rack mount, despite being a quiet rack mount, is still noisier than most desktop solutions out there. And if you run it with just um, SSDs inside, it's still way noisier, still hitting close to the 2930 dBA mark, just running on its own with no drives inside. So uh, I've skipped the SSD portion of this, but again, trust me, this system, even if you used SSDs, you're still going to be able to hear it there. Now, before we go any further, I have to go for a few disclaimers, just like my other hard drive noise video. So you can skip forward three or four minutes if you just want to go to the noise testing. But I think for some context, it's important to go through these disclaimers. First and foremost, it's worth highlighting that because we are using hard drives here, hard drives have got these spinning bits inside. They are platters, along with a little arm, otherwise known as an actuator or arm, that's constantly flicking inside to read from all of those platters. Now, although in the uh, boot and idle testing that I'm going to be running, you're not going to hear much of the drive. In the third test, you're going to hear them quite a lot, I assume. Because in that moment, this drive is going to, these drives are going to be read consistently. And the more enterprise or high capacity a drive becomes, remember 4, uh, 10, and 16 TB, the more noise they make. So again, make sure you factor in, regardless of whether you use these drives or other drives, that hard drives make a lot more noise the more industrious or heavy workload they're designed for, as well as the higher capacities there. Next up, the measurements of the sound on this are being conducted from a distance of around one and a half feet between this and the microphone. We change the angle of the camera over there. On top of that, it, when it's come to the decibel level versus the actual noise, I have increased the noise uh, by around 50%, but I've not increased that dB level there. So sometimes you're going to hear a noise that seems a lot louder than the decibel meter seems to indicate with its spikes. And that's because I've increased the noise so you can identify them there. Um, next up, during the boot sequence, I'm leaving this running for at least 90. Uh, the boot uh, on audio level there will be for around 90 to 120 seconds to show you the full boot sequence there. And in idle use, the system is still connected to the network. The system is still running, but I'm doing no active processes with the drive during our idle test. And finally, during active testing what we're doing is running the internal drive benchmark tools available from Synology and the, which will hit both IOPS and standard sequential performance there so that's how all three tests are happening there occasionally there will be ambient noise because this is still a working office building and of course you were going to hear my fluffy little friends there on the roof the seagulls um 
Lastly, during um, the actual noise testing, I'm not going to be talking. The only talking you're going to hear about is here and a little bit that we banged on the end. During the actual noise testing, you won't hear me. It's just going to be the drive noise because a number of you just want to hear that without me rabbiting on top. So I'm going to wrap things up for this. This is the beginning of the noise tests. I hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, sling them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, wait till the end of the video. If you've got any recommendation for future videos or want to see any of the other NASs I've tested in the past that are available here for noise testing, let me know. But other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy the noise tests.